The overall height of this impressive dolmen is somewhat three and a half metres. The portal stones stand about 2.8 metres high and form a porch at the door stone, which reaches almost the same height. This huge miglet has two enormous capstones similar to other tombs in the south of Ireland. At present, it is part of a field wall, sadly in Northern Fields, which is once a cemetery, is now quite overgrown and is not very easy to get a good view of the monument. But have a look at this video. Man la cara. Tommy e county Port Larga. Tommy ar ash na no shanchoida. Kanoka. So that's where are in Nakin Stone Circle here in County Waterford. I wrote about this in the part of uh, the treasures of West County Waterford. Now this is the stone or sorry, this is the Nakin Portal Dolmen. Very unusual one as you can see there's two caps in it, one very large cap and then you have a smaller cap. Now as you can see it's a bit of a dose to get to. I uh, got permission from lads over uh, to come through here. And you can hear someone moaning here. Are you moaning for? No, it's absolutely roasting, but um, I'll be doing a few of these. So I'll get you up and close right there. It's just that I can't go through that trail as it's completely overgrown and I'm not wearing the correct things for this. But uh, absolutely fantastic. It is absolutely massive. Last time I saw something this big uh, was um, up in Ackle Island and I was about seven or eight at the time, which would have seemed a bit bigger. But as you can see in here, there seems to be a stone after collapsing in from behind. But um, other than that, it's absolutely fantastic. So you've got one, two, three, four, four side stones, one stone here. There, swell that up. Obviously, that one's after falling back, and then you got your two capstones. But this is absolutely fantastic. Well, for now, I'll be. I'm going up to Gallstone Dolmen next. The Gallstone Portal Tomb consists of six upright stones forming a chamber with capstone of some five meters in length. The two portal stones stick out in the front and are at least two meters high. This particular one is built in a, a small wooded area, which gives it an almost a dramatic effect as if you can see in the video. Uh, Tommy Arash. Uh, we are at the Gallstone Dolmen and this one is absolutely amazing. The size of it. See now I am <laughs> right here inside of it. So you have the burial chamber here. And there's your burial stone right in the centre. Oh no. That's just to keep it upwards. I think this has been repaired at one stage. As you can see, uh, the concrete and the length there to keep it upright. Which is, so I thank the local farmer for doing that. But as you can see, right up underneath it, it looks like there was a bit of plaster at one stage. Or lime washed. It looks like lime washed to me. Layers of it. But as you can see here now, this is once again in the middle of nowhere. Uh, my height, my head height now will be here. So we go back from here, and that's our head height. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful one again. Now, as I said, uh, there's an entrance there, but it has been, yeah, it has been repaired over time. As you can see, all the concrete around here. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I really would think who has done the restoration on it. But this would be privately done. But absolutely fantastic. Yeah, talk to you later. The match stone megalithic monument is a passage tomb. It is wedge shaped. And there are five autostats on each side of the passage with three large roof stones. And there are four more stones at the western end, which may be part of the curve. This particular one is actually in the middle of a uh, working farmland. 
in the middle of a field. Now, I asked permission to go visit it and I was given permission provided that there was no cattle in the field. So, as unfortunately, uh, when I went there, I had to get, be content with just taking a video from the edge of the road by the, by the gate. Right, unfortunately, no, I can't do much here. Um, I can't go into this field as there's livestock present. And I ain't standing on that. So, this is Matthew's Town uh, Passage Tomb. So, I'll bring you up. It's fairly, not in great nick, but it's still all there. You can just see the capstones there. Uh, quite small in comparison to the other two we've been to, Goldstone and um, Knockin. But, nonetheless, we're here at Passage Tombs now. We'll be kind of more elongated, from going more into the earth at an angle. I'm not too sure, is this the one where the homestones uh, were taken from and returned because I can't go there to check it out. But, no, we don't need any search and rescue here, no lads. <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> uh, quite close to the coast again. But, uh, no, it's a pity now I can't go up there. But look, can't go everywhere, can't go everywhere. Alright, thanks lads. Well, in Nagria, Portal Tomb uh, was the last Portal Tomb that I visited. And quite frankly, it was quite uh, disappointing. From, from where I parked, looking up, it looked quite very impressive. And once I got there, then the disappointment came. Unfortunately, it has been repaired uh, very badly. When you look at the video, you will see that there are uh, maybe two portal stones missing. And the capstone rests on the wall that is constructed from the 1940s. But it is was a restoration project from the 1940s who would have very little idea of what they were doing. But their intentions were in the right place. Right, here we are now. We are in, wait for it, Balinagira. Yep, that's how it's pronounced. Uh, Port Dolman. Now this one uh, has been repaired by Forgra itself. So as you can see, that's some pre precast was PJ Murray's and Sons. Don't ask me. Oh, there's a date in it. Uh, 1940, I think. Is it? Yeah, 1940. This was um, repaired in 1940 with uh, precast, which is very good. I see all along here. Just to keep the stones up, upright. Now, as you can see, you have your original capping is there. Now, say uh, what size it is is quite. It's still impressive size, but uh, a lot smaller than the other ones. Uh, as you can see, capping stone missing here. Uh, it's just going to be propped up there. That must be in the basement at one point. Uh, this one here must be standing up a taller up against here that was the door and that one was propping up along there as well now completely full of precast concrete as well but look it's preserving monuments even if they are in the middle of nowhere <laughs> that's where they put it but then as you can see uh, <laughs> uh, it's getting a bit closer there Oh. And there we go. Oh. So that's the Office of Public Works. And it's their role in protecting everything. And especially when they keep... Uh, you can see the writing for the Shanguelga. <laughs> yeah, I'm narrating to that myself for my own um, Lower Scotic. But, uh, yeah. And yeah, there's my cushy at it again, Cali. You really do like getting videos, don't you? So, alright, so that's Bell and Gira. Okay, so thank you.